In this video, we're going to attempt to solve exponential expressions, exponential equations using some exponent properties and finding a common base on both the left and right side. We know if the base is the same, the exponent must also be the same. So let's look at 5 to the 4x times 5 to the 2x minus 1 equals 5 to the 3x plus 11. This one's nice because all of our bases are 5. However, we have two 5's on the left side. It'd be nice if we could combine those into a single base of 5, so we would have a single base of 5 on each side. Recall, we have an exponent property that says a to the m times a to the n. If the same base is multiplied, we can add the exponents together. So that's what we can do on the left side, as we combine those under a single 5. We're going to add the exponents together. 4x plus 2x is 6x, and we have a minus 1, equals 5 to the 3x plus 11. Keeping that single base, we're allowed to add the exponents. And now we do have that same base on both sides, so the exponents must be equal. 6x minus 1 must equal 3x plus 11, and we have a simple equation we can quickly solve. Subtract 3x giving us 3x minus 1 equals 11. Adding 1 to both sides, giving us 3x equals 12. And finally, dividing both sides by 3, x is equal to 4. So by using this exponent property that we can add the exponents on a common base, we could combine the two 5's into a single 5. But let's stretch that idea to a more involved problem, where we have 16 to the 2x minus 5 times 1 fourth to the 3x plus 1 equals 32 times 1 half to the x plus 3. In this problem, we have all different bases. So in addition to combining into a single base, we need to factor the 16, the 4, the 32, and the 2. 16, we can factor by dividing by 2, 8 divided by 2, 4 divided by 2, 2 divided by 2, 1. So 16 is 2 to the 4th power with a 2x minus 5 on it, times 1 4th. Boy, that's a fraction. Remember, negative exponents create fractions. The exponent's going to be negative, so let's just factor the 4. Divide by 2, 2 times, and 2 once. You might have been able to do that in our heads. 1 fourth is 2 squared, but to get the fraction, that has to be a negative exponent. We still have 3x plus 1 on it. Equals 32. Well, 32 factoring, divide by 2 is 16, divide by 2 is 8, divide by 2 is 4, divide by 2 is 2, divide by 2 is 1. We've got 5 twos, 32 is 2 to the 5th power times 1 half. Well, 2's already prime, but we need the fraction, make it a negative exponent to the x plus 3. We still need to combine these double exponents together. Fortunately, we have an exponent property that says we can multiply them together by distributing each through, giving us 2 to the 8x minus 20 times 2 to the negative 6x minus 2 equals 2 to the 5th times 2 to the negative x minus 3. And now we have all 2's. Now we're finally allowed to combine into a single 2 on both sides by adding the exponents on each side. 8x minus 6x is 2x minus 22, and then we have negative x plus 2. Finally, we're ready. Same base, we can set our exponents equal. 2x minus 22 equals negative x plus 2, and we should be able to quickly solve. Adding x to get 3x minus 22 equals 2, Adding 22 to get 3x equals 24, and dividing by 3 to get x equals 8. So a lot of steps. Get the same base by factoring, multiplying the double exponents, add to combine like terms, and if we have the same base on both sides, we can set the exponents equal.